Hey, you don't happen to know where the water fountain is, do you? Okay, sorry. Beautiful, Kayla. Beautiful. Just remember to focus on your posture, right? Keep your body straight and tall, shoulders back, chest up. Wow, that girl is really talented. Is she one of your gymnasts? No, I've never seen her before. Do any of you know her? Uh, give me just a moment, okay? Excuse me. Are you with this class? Okay, um, do you have a membership here? What's your name, hun? Hey, Robert, this girl... Hey, little lady, you got any spare change? No, I don't have anything. Do you know what time it is? 3.57. Excuse me. Um, excuse me. Can I get some water, please? Of course. How is everything? It's good, thank you. Sorry I'm late. Sorry? Where the heck have you been, huh? I mean, sweetie, you scared me half to death. Come on in the back and Tell me what's going on with you, okay? Now, where have you been, huh? I was practicing gymnastics. What have I told you about that crap? That, that... That it ain't gonna get you nowhere. Just look at you. <laughs> you think you can actually make it as a gymnast? You look like a twig. Besides, gymnastics is a complete waste of time. Now, if you're late again, I'm gonna take away that mattress. You hear me? Do you hear me? Good. Now get to washing those dishes. What are you doing, huh? I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten all day. Then you should have been on time, right? From now on, every time you're late, you don't get to eat. Now, do these dishes like I said, and then take out the trash.
What are you doing? This is a paying customer's food, not yours. Okay, you need to go. What? No, go. Out, unless you want me to call the cops. Jinx. Jinx. Just give me a sec, girls. Okay. Oh. Your beam was the best. Hey, are you okay? I, I, sorry, I promise I'm leaving right now. No, 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 I'm not asking you to leave. Here, take this, please. We've got plenty. Uh, are you sure? Thank you. I'm Colleen. What's your name? Hallie. Franz Cafe. Do you work there? Aren't you a little young to be working? That place used to be a cupcake shop when I was little. My grandma raised me and she owned the place, so I spent a lot of my time there growing up. Man, that woman made the best coconut macaroon cupcakes. I didn't know it used to be a cupcake shop. Mm -hmm. What happened? She got sick. Couldn't keep up with the shop. The bank took it away. I wish that place was still in business. Always thought I'd take it over someday. That's why I kept the recipes. It was my happy place growing up. Gymnastics is my happy place. I saw. You know, you're quite talented. Will I see you at the studio again? I have an extra pass if you need. Hope to see you there. Get that? Someone gave it to me. Oh, yeah, right. No one's gonna waste their food on some little crybaby like you. <sighs> Wait a minute. You stole it, didn't you? I promise, I didn't steal. Uh, what did I tell you about using this? Huh? You're running up my electricity bill. Please, no, it's cold down here. I don't even have I a don't care. You may have been your mommy's and daddy's little princess, but life's no fairy tale, Hallie. Get used to it. Hey, you don't show up on time, you don't eat. Now turn off that light. Nice for Callie. Your posture's perfect. All right, girls, let's all take five. Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. You know, you looked great today with all your routines. Do you want to become a pro gymnast one day? That's my dream. I want to be just like Simone Biles. But I don't know. What don't you know? I don't think it'll ever happen for me. It's just a waste of time. It is, if that's what you believe. But if you believe you can be the next Simone Biles, you might very well be one day. Because as my grandma used to say to me, Whatever you believe, you can achieve. As long as you're willing to put in the work, of course. Wait, what time is it? It is... 11.45. What? It's already 11.45? I gotta go. I'm gonna be late. Uh, wait. Why don't I just give you a ride? So you won't be more late? Why am I taking you here and not home? This is where I live. <laughs> I had a 
don't care if you were only two minutes late. You're not eating again. Forget about sleeping upstairs. Please, no, there's wraps and spiders. Does it look like I care? And uh, from here on out, you'll be sleeping in the kitchen every night, except for the times when the caseworker comes. But that's not fair. Listen to me, you ungrateful little brat. If you don't stop acting all entitled, I'm really gonna take your mattress away this time. You understand? Get to work. I'm sorry, Why, I didn't hit you. you wicked little... Don't you dare touch her. Who the heck are you? Get out of my shop. I will, but not without Hallie. I don't know who you think you are. I'm but Hallie's this... gymnastic coach. <laughs> Perfect. So you're the one who's been poisoning her mind with all that gymnastics crap. She's never going to go anywhere with that. As long as she's here with you, she won't. And that's why she's coming with me. Would you like that? Would you like to stay with me instead? Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, she is. Unless you'd like for me to get the police involved, or maybe CPS. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure there's plenty here to get you put behind bars for quite a few years. Would you mind me asking, how did you end up in this situation? I don't want to talk about it. Fair enough. And I won't ask again. But just know you can stay with me as long as you need to, okay? So I spoke with CPS, and she won't be able to hurt you anymore. I promise. And they also confirm that you can stay here until we figure out the next steps. I brought you a change of clothes, uh, a toothbrush, toothpaste, a towel in case you'd like to shower. Thank you. Where's the bathroom? Uh, just down the hall and to your left. Dear diary, since this is my first time writing in you, I guess I should tell you a little bit about myself. <laughs> my name is Hallie Mundy. I used, to I used to have two awesome parents. My dad was super smart. He was a surgeon. And my mom was the nicest person ever. She was a psychiatrist and helped a lot of people. Between the two of them, they saved a lot of lives. They always surprised me with things I loved, like horses. They told me when I got a little older, they'd teach me how to ride. I remember thinking about how I was the luckiest girl in the world. My parents always supported my dream of being a pro gymnast, always taking me to gymnastics and cheering me on, even when I stumbled. Everything felt perfect. That is, until one night, everything changed. We were driving home after dinner when a junk driver hit us head on. When I woke up in the hospital, I was really scared. And I just wanted to see my parents. But 
Little did I know that I would never see them again. They were gone, and I was all alone in the world. Even though my parents had saved countless lives, nobody could save theirs. My world shattered. A few months later, I got taken in by Fran. She's my foster mom. I knew nobody could replace my parents, but I hoped this could at least be a good new beginning. But I was wrong. My foster mom hates me. She only has me to collect paychecks. I don't even get to sleep in the apartment upstairs unless this caseworker comes. She makes me sleep in the kitchen and work and tells me I'll never make it as the gymnast. Sometimes when she gets really angry, she even hits me. I miss the life I had before when my mom and dad were still alive, and I'm starting to give up on my dreams. Maybe my dreams died with my parents. Anyway, I'll try to find some time to write in you again. Love, Hallie. You weren't supposed to read that. I'm so sorry. I just had to know what was going on. Look, going forward, I'm going to do everything in my power for you to stay with me and make your dreams come true. <laughs> I'll help you become the next Simone Biles. I promise I will be there with you every step of the way. Just like your parents were. Why are you doing all this for me? Because I know what it's like to lose loved ones. What's wrong? Do you not want to stay with me? It's not that. I do want to stay with you. But what if I don't make it as the next Moon Biles? Well, you won't. If that's what you believe. Because what did I tell you? Whatever you believe... You can achieve. That's right. As long as you're willing to work hard for it. Are you willing to do that? You should get a picture. You, don't be shy. I'll talk to her. Excuse me. Hi. My daughter's a huge fan. Um, would it be okay to get a picture? Yeah, of course. No problem. All right. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Hey, the 
That's all right. Keep trying, okay? No way. Is that Hallie Munty? Good to see you again. I'll straight in for the Olympics. Good. Brutal, but you know, it's all I've ever wanted, so I've got to work hard. Thank you. None of it would have been possible if it weren't for you. Hallie, you're my idol. Mine too. I want to be just like you someday, but... What's wrong? I still need a lot of work. I'm not that good. And I don't know if I'll ever be a pro gymnast. You won't be. If that's what you believe. As someone once told me what you believe, you can achieve. So as long as you girls stick with it, work hard, and believe in yourself, you can do anything. Come on, I have something else for you. What are we doing back here? Just wait here a second. Surprise! This place is yours. Now you can carry on your grandma's legacy. did all this for me. Why? You gave me my happy place. So, I wanted to give you yours. my mattress you're sitting on. Well, I suggest you find a new one. We don't want no problem now, do we? No. 